What's up, guys? Welcome to the uh, 88th episode of the On Blast Show. I'm um, obviously James MK. Um, things are a little bit chaotic right now. Um, obviously, uh, shout outs to uh, Larry Shin Blanca over at Final Round for running a great event. Uh, also, shout outs to, uh, you know, Shock, you know, for uh, doing his best to keep the NRS community afloat. Um, in an otherwise turmoiled and very immature scene. Um, shout out to the guys who all won, you know, all their said games. And a big shout out to the guys down in Venezuela, uh, Tech in Venezuela, for coming up to the States and representing pretty damn well, um, I must say. Um, and of course, you know, my favorite of all out there, uh, uh, King Ray Jr., coming into uh, final round. Uh, and repping pretty damn well. In fact, before I really get into everything, I'm going to run this quick vid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. Give an advice. I don't know what is about to happen, but I, I'm, I I'm kind of scared. Oh, well, he plays a cheap team. Uh, That's always Oscar, a good start. But he's going against those cheap Ling Xiaoyu characters. Yeah, well, fighting Ling is really tricky because uh, you really have to use all your defensive options. Ducking is almost always the worst option, obviously, right? So your throw break game and your punish game really has to be on point in this type of matchup. Yeah, you really have to be uh, aware of when they're going to AOP stance as well. Because if you don't recognize it and you're just going to be whipping a higher stuff, you're basically just going to get launched for free. And this kid playing against King Ray, he looks like a kid too to me. But, <laughs> he's pretty uh, young. Oh, yeah, he looks like he's not taking it seriously right now. And it's going to be interesting I'll, what happens. I'll, I will always Oh take no, combo seriously. start. King Ray Jr. Okay, missed the wall carry. That sandwich though. He's rushing it down. Uh oh, oh got into it. California roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could have finished that. Oh, the handspring. Kicks. <laughs> oh, Miharu. Okay, hop kick. Oh, Didn't wow. get the bound. Wow! Oh my goodness, I, that sweep is so cheap. It's so fat. Oh, three of them. <laughs> he went for it. He had to go for it. You gotta go for it sometime. Oh, Jack crash. Oh. oh! He's still Wait, in the wall. gonna save him though. Yep, he's still in this. Oh, oh the tech trap. Catch. That's Jayu tech right there. <laughs> gotta be ready. <laughs> oh, no, here come the boos! <laughs> here come the boos! Pumps. Oh no! Palm again. <laughs> Always gotta watch out at the palm because Jayu is much safer than she looks. Yeah. Yeah, King Ray using a lot of launchers right now. Seems uh -huh. to be working out for him. Mm, break that wall. Okay. Already uses bound. Down back three. Yeah, the loads are working out of stuff, California. Oh, damn, nice. girl. Got him countered. Okay. Bound. That was a great pickup, actually. Ooh. To the wall. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Okay, oh didn't get Ender, goodness. but he's still in good shape. Yeah, he's got a big lead here. He's got to relax a little bit. Wow! Nice. But get relaxing, we got the round. <laughs> oh, his hands are up in the air! <laughs> <and three. laughs> King Ray Jr. on the board. Oof, okay. Jayu with the wild standing launch. Good carry. Man, Jayu's damage sucks, huh? Oh, yeah, this team is not a very high damage team. Oh, oh you want to try style? Here's the no, back no, three! No, 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 Here's the no, back no. three for you! Side throw. Ooh. Oh, got him though. While standing too. Counter hit. Oh, dropping combos. Not a good idea. Arm King. Oh, he didn't tag. Didn't tag. Oh, he's looking at him. He's talking to him. Oh, he tapped him. Oh, he waving at the crash. <laughs> oh, Ooh. no. Wow, drop a combo again. Back, Back to connect. Yeah. Not going to get a bound that angle. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he can't, he can't ever fall. Oh, that. my God. He's just doing it repeatedly. Yep. Oh. oh. And look at the game, he's like talking to Disrespect. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We may see some real salt flowing soon. Oh, okay. Got the counter. <laughs> Got nice. him. Tag punish. Give me that damage. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Not quite at the wall, but still Let's looking go. good. Let's go. The Let's go. No. Oh. Let's go. It. It's not over. It's not over. He's still in this. Okay. Wake oh, up. no combo. Look out. No, no God. don't ever duck, Ugh. man. Damn it. Uh, oh, he dropped it again. Anything can happen. Punish. Oh, oh the her, her. Keep it going. Keep it going. Shoulder, shoulder. Shoulder. He did a shoulder. Oh. oh. The risky lows. 
And a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, King Ray Jr. had the round. He got the wall slap. All he had to do was the shoulder with Armor King, and that would have connected. All right, got him that round. What is that to the final round right there? Yes, sir. I feel like King Ray Jr. could have had that game. He missed a couple of critical oh, yeah. combos oh, yeah. that really hurt him in this one. That's, there you go. It's all right. Nice. Oh, man. Uh oh, the sandwich. Oh, got, got her. Oh, no. Nice try. Okay. Nice try. Got to deal with me harder now. Okay. Got a little float there. Careful. Oh, the it's okay. It's three. okay. I would take that all day just to not duck. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Nice. nice. Oh, Cutter. let's go. Cutter. Back three for the win. Okay. The nice sandwich. Counter. Mm -hmm. huh. Okay. Uh-oh. No. JTL crowd trying to get into it. Tech oh, but he this got time his setup he up turned off kicks. <laughs> what? No. Oh, let's go. Oh man. Oh. Couldn't come off the break. Nice low parry. He was Ooh. ready. Okay. No, oh. he went for the counter. Anyway. Oh, back three. <laughs> Down. Failure to punish on the low. Look out! Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> Let's go! What is happening right Look now? Look at the crowd! This is crazy! He's up 2-0! In round! Second match! He lost the first one though! Okay. Countering while standing 2. Yes sir. In there. Oh boy. Nice! Crack their dome. Again! Do it again! Do it again! Keep going! Yep. Woo! That hurts. Woo! <laughs> Asuka's got rage! Just ran out. Ling's got rage now. He's got to be a little bit careful. Oh, okay. nice. He's trying to get those pickups so bad. He's hungry for it. Yeah, the wall dance is countering a lot. Wow, no bound. Nice combo. Oh, oh the, the shoulder, shoulder. counter hits too. Oh. He's got the round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, waving at him. Wow. Wow, this guy. If anyone's getting stabbed at this event, <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice combo. Keep it going. Oh, Try that's to the wall again. Slam? There's the shoulder. Hop kick. Oh, that would be nice. 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 The sandwich is hitting nonstop. Woo. Oh, man. Kyle better be taking some notes. Oh, AOP okay. hop kicks. Hop kick. Oh, the wow. punch counter. <laughs> Smart. Oh, what? That was sick. <laughs> he got floated, but no full combo there. Hop kick unsafe. Nice tag! Back 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 back. Let's go! 3-1! Look at the crowd! Oh damn! This is final <laughs> round! Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Game number three coming up. <laughs> What's this guy's name? King Ray Jr. and? Uh, Kanuga. Kanuga gets the counter shoulder again. Off to a good start. Final match. Oh! He oh, got lucky! Wow. And he's gonna start off with a perfect? Yes, he Both is. Letters. Oh, the booze. <laughs> the booze. <laughs> oh, the hop kicks. Let's go. A drop and combo. Look out. Ooh, nice, nice choice. Very nice choice there. Duck. Oh, didn't duck the high there. That is a high. He's got a mix up. But he has been using. Wow. Oh, nice. oh, and the late ooh, bound. Ooh. Oh man. Oh, they will be ducks his yep. death sandwich. Oh wow. I don't know what's going on right now. It's nutty. Kanuga looking good, look out! <laughs> King Ray Jr. <laughs> One round of peace. Let's oh, go. Oh, look at him! Kanuga is shook! Ooh. He is so shook! That's what I was saying, man. Nobody ever wants to lose to the brat, man. It's but the dude, he was feeling. up there like taunting him and stuff, and now he's getting old. Oh, got him with the he's low. He's got to figure out the size of threes. He's going for another perfect. He's got it. Two ah, perfects. Ouch. 14 golden letters. Oh, here we go. Anya. From Anya. Anya is coming to coach. <laughs> you got this, King Ray. Oh, he looks. King Ray looks angry. He's got anger in his eyes. Nice oh, punish. let's go. That was a great whip. Don't fight. you ever do that. Oh, he's going for that move repeatedly now. Okay. X marks the spot. Look out. Oh. Pop the bound. No, oh, he didn't get the bound. What happened? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Teamwork. We got teamwork. Oh no, let's go! 
Oh, it's over, it's over. Just Wait, it's final, up. final round! It's final, <laughs> final round! Oh my goodness, Kanuga! Get the first launcher of the round! Down to the wire, side to three! Side to three again. He's going for the third perfect! He's got a tag crash, he's got to get away from third the Third perfect though! Tag crash, please. Oh, oh run tag. Run tag. a lot of oh, help coming back from Oscar. Hawking it! And the bound! There Taking we go! Taking of that rage. What's he gonna do? All oh. the heads. Oh, look out! The back no, the kick. tech trap again! Crowd goes silent. Side to three, it's oh, again! It's over, it's over. It's, wait, wait, wait. It's over! Oh. Final round, good game. Kanuga takes Kanuga it. Kanuga takes it. King Ray, good showing. Yeah, good stuff to King Ray. That was brutal. <laughs> He's like, don't touch me. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break real quick, guys. I'll come yeah, back a little bit later. Sure. Jack, Jack, watch out for the headset, bro. Good, come on in, bro. By all means. Here you go. All wow. right. So we just had a nice one between uh, Kanuga and Elray Jr. I haven't seen a match that hype or all King weekend. Ray Jr. Yeah, that was that was great. Right, so now we have Naklam up against Bane. Got some Rolex play then. <laughs> Naklam is still rocking this tag. Dude, <laughs> dude. All right, guys. Um, basically, uh, as you see, OBS King Ray Jr., who will be back with us in about three minutes, four minutes. Um, I just got word uh, I'm going to have uh, Larry from uh, Final Round jump on in a second. And uh, he wants to address a couple of issues. So without further ado, let me add Larry. Yo, what up? What's going on, sir? Another great event. Um, it definitely, uh, I enjoyed watching the whole thing. I got to say, Tekken uh, definitely brought some crazy hype, which I personally wasn't expecting to uh, really take to it as much as I did. The Venezuelan guys were amazing. Yeah, they were. Uh, uh, King Ray Jr. was another uh, head turner for the event as well. Um, what was your overall uh, feel for the whole uh, event overall? Overall, uh, well, I'd like to say uh, good evening to you, James. Appreciate you uh, letting me on the show. Give me this forum to speak to the people. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone that came out, you know, and supported Final Round. Um, everyone that watched, too. Um, the overall on Final Round, I'll give it a, a B. There was things that could have been done that was better. Uh, that's generally why I came on the show to talk about said things. <laughs> but uh, overall, I think uh, that tournament was good overall. Some some people are unhappy, so let's get right to it. Unfortunately, I have a feeling it's part of the community that I belong to, but um, but I understand. It you is, know what I'm saying? It there was a lot of it was a lot of stuff that happened. You know what I'm saying? And I do want to clear some things up, but uh, I just got through pack unpacking my van by myself, so I'm I'm tired, but I'm willing to fill some questions and stuff like that. Uh, first of all. With well, hold on. You you lead me to where you want me to talk. Um, talk well, about well, well, what you know? Let's just start with straight up. What were some of the uh, the things that transpired that you know has you concerned? Okay, well, basically, um, I feel like I dropped the ball for the NRS community. I apologize for that. Uh, I did not know about the random hot fix that randomly 
leaves your system, even if you uploaded all of them, because everyone that brought the system, my systems, um, I know Shock told me he updated his. Um, Biggie always um, update his before he goes anywhere. So to get to the event and the Injustice Tournament is supposed to start and none of the systems are updated is something that's really unexcusable. Um, what I did to try to relieve that situation was um, I had an additional line put onto my master account so we could get a hard line because we had a lot of um, older Xbox 360s. And everyone knows that unless you have the little Bluetooth joint, you can't do wireless. Yeah. So trying to tether it with someone's 4G card, you know, was not going to happen. Uh, it was my mistake because I have one <laughs> in my house downstairs, but I forgot to bring it, you know. Yeah. And that's kind of uh, one thing that I'll, I'll take that, you know what I'm saying, L on that because I forgot to bring an important item that I was going to use just in case we did have to hotspot it. Uh, since that didn't happen, I had to pay for additional, you know, internet um, just to make sure that the tournament got started. Yes, it was hella late. I understand that. And, but trying to get in contact with IT when they thought that everything was handled and settled with my event, internet wise, is a difficult thing to do on the fly. There's no excuse. It is what it is. Um, that leads into the pool situation. All right. Mm -hmm. So one thing begets another. So um, who was that? Mike. Mike I can't Metroid. remember. Mike Metroid. Yeah, Mike Metroid originally um, helped my main tournament organizer, Kaya Hicks, uh, see the brackets. Okay. Uh, went in. Try to do it regionally, also based on scale. Uh, we were going to try to attempt to do what uh, Pig suggested with people who didn't pre-register and uh, make them all fight each other. But the problem with that is when you're trying to apply that, when you have pre-register, is you're basically going to have to guess how many people are going to not pre-register or or may show up to final round. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you may have, if I take a pool and just put all of them in a death pool, you may have just, it could be four people. It could be 16 people. But planning and making the brackets even, you know, throughout instead of having an 8, 8, 8, 16, 8, 8, 8, you know. Yeah. Our whole purpose of getting the pre-registered early was A, trying to make sure that people didn't have crossed over. You know, um, when initially I didn't know who merged the uh, the pools at first. I finally got down to the bottom of it. But by the time I did, uh, Shock was trying to do his best to alleviate the problem because there was a lot of people complaining since the pools were combined that it messed up the seating, this, that, and the other. I don't know where it got lost in translation with either the pools being combined with different pools or whatever. But from my initial response from shock was that the pools are messed up now due to the due to combining. So I don't know if they got combined out of order or what. But either way, that's it's not trying to place blame on anyone. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you what happened. Yeah. All right, so when that happened, uh, 
Shock was trying to do his best to reseed the uh, pools on the fly to make the pools fair or, or, you know, more balanced than what they were when they were trying to combine them before. Okay. I, I had Shock down there because he's a trusted member of you guys' community. Yes. And if something would come up like this, that he would be able to handle it, you know, and him and Fran and others, you know, did the best they could with a bad situation. We were two and a half hours late because I couldn't get the IT situation straight. You know what I'm saying? And we try to put it together the best way we can. Stuff happens, you know. Um, if if anyone, you know, um, time at Final Round was ruined because of this, I sincerely apologize about it, you know. My whole goal is to make sure that everyone's happy, you know, when they come to Final Round and enjoy it. Uh, no one else had a problem with the pool system because everything else was updated. Um, so this glitch that the hot fix does, I mean, literally, they had to keep, they took my Xbox One and plugged it up after they basically patched all of them again. They took mine that was on the stream and just kept it hot wired to the, basically that was the patch station for the entire for the rest of the uh, tournament. So basically, just to make sure that the stream didn't drop because that happened before they had to switch systems, switch it to my um, Xbox, and then repatch it and stuff like that. So uh, I hope that NRS. Um, hot fix the hot fix so this won't happen at anyone else's um, tournament um, maybe it's not a problem in the newer slims a couple of those kept the past so maybe this is an older model type issue but no actually no that's not true because the one they were using on the stream I gave the spooky for top 8 and that was just transferring from room to room yeah. and they did it again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it's just it's just something that hopefully they'll fix, you know. That and I understand, you know, I, I'm not a programmer or anything like that, you know, so I don't know wh what entails or how quickly they could get that fixed. But I mean, that started the mud ball. You know what I'm saying? Or what happened from my, you know, from my point of view as an organizer, you know, um, that just put a lot of stress on Shock and his crew. You know what I'm saying? So for that, that wasn't fair for them either. But they did the best that they could, you know, to make the best out of a bad, horrible yeah, situation. A situation you yeah, know, they did what they could. Yeah, exactly. So. For those who who time was ruined at final round, I'll take that L because ultimately what goes down at my event is me. It's not shock. It's not whoever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, my main thing is is that an unforeseeable thing happened that the response wasn't quick enough to handle, you know what I'm saying? And that's all to it. And it just mud ball for now. One action had another action, had another action. Therefore, so that's what it was, you know what I'm saying? I know I didn't read through all the threads on um, Test Your Mic because I was really just trying to chill out today, you know? Yeah. Um, I had to work, but I got off a little early from work. So I got home, relaxed, uh, then actually fell asleep. I was reading a little bit of stuff. I was like, oh, I don't want to get stressed out about this. I'm just going to, you know, chill out for a second. 
then woke up, the sun was going down. I was like, hell, I got to unpack this damn van. And I remember talking to you earlier. I told you I was going to try to come on the show, you know, yeah. to to at least, you know, give a little report, especially since, you know, you are the eyes and ears of the NRS community. So I want to speak to them directly. Well, I mean, you know, from what I'm, what I'm catching, I mean, obviously, like, you know, for me looking into the event as somebody that's trying to look at it and say, you know, this is a community I belong to. You know, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of things that I've seen that on our side that needs to be addressed, which, again, I've tried to take a, a gentler, kinder machine gun hand to this, yeah. you know, since getting back on Twitch. But, you know, the PL thing, you know, that made me, it, it's like, really, you're part of this community and you're going to act like that, you know. I'm not going to, look, I'm not even going to talk about that. No, you know, you know I'm, I'm just saying nah. from, from, from my perspective, looking in at it, and, I'm, you yeah. know, then obviously I see calls for Combat Network to step down, um, that they dropped the ball on everything, that Devil May Spy saved the day, that this guy saved the day. The problem with the NRS community is they're trying to run and they haven't even learned how to walk yet. Well, I will say this. Yes, if Del Devil May Spy is the gentleman with the short hair, kind of muscular dude, yeah, he, he was helping out a lot also. No, he was the dude in the suit. Oh, the dude in the suit. Okay, 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 yeah. All right. So, yeah, there was a lot of people, you know, Lending a hand, trying to help out. Um, I mean, I saw that, you know, once I had the one designated room for them, I moved them so they can have a bigger area and stuff like that and feel more comfortable. Uh, I think overall, the general, I think the general um, size didn't caught me off didn't catch me off guard. Just everything that I had allocated, you know, and planned for, it pretty much was like, okay, I know where things are gonna go, but then again, I have certain things I had to fulfill. You know what I'm saying? So the business and trying to make sure that everyone's comfortable and happy, you know, is is a healthy balance, you know. I think I got that straight. I know where I'll, I definitely know where I can have everything set up. But I wouldn't, to me, I wouldn't, you know, go in on shock or anything like that, you know. If he hasn't said, you know, that he or his, you know, team tried to do the best they could and people trying to say they dropped the ball or whatever, you know. I had them guys come there. So if anybody wants to talk or whatever, they could, you know, hit me up on Facebook in a private message. We don't have to flame or anything like that. I'm an adult. I can speak with anybody, you know what I'm saying? But if it becomes, you know, tit for tat, um, childish type stuff, I will ignore you, you know. So just come to me correctly like an adult. We can have a discussion. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's you know, I mean, and it's not, like I said, I wasn't singling out Devil May Spy um, in general, but I was saying, you know, the, the thing that I'm noticing in the NRS community is the egos are through the roof. The I deserve mentality is through the roof, you know, I, and I get people all the time, you know, telling me I abandoned the community, you know, and I go, listen, I didn't abandon nothing. I'm part of the FGC, and that's basically what I've always been, you know. I was playing Street Fighter before Mortal Kombat even existed. I don't favor one game over the other. I love Tekken. I love Soul Calibur. I love the anime games. I like all of these games, you know, and I play all these games, but, you know, this community... Um, the egos it is based off of who wins a tournament, not what they do for a scene. And somebody like Shock, you know, quite honest, 
there would be no NRS community had Shock with 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 Biggie and uh, and Joe and John not pushed forward in the beginning exactly. because it wasn't a West. It, it, we could all you know blow smoke and mirrors out. There was no West Coast scene. They're street fighter. No. They like street fighter. Yeah. NRS well Williams at the time was brought with ECT and Biggie. You yeah. know those two guys with the with, with Shock put it forward. You yeah. know and guys. Or everybody wants to say it's easier. To, you know, I could do that. You know, everybody's told me, "Hey, Jimmy, how come you don't do an OBS tournament?" Because uh, time, money, resources. There's things that need to be applied to it. I just don't snap my fingers, go up to the garden, and say, "Yo, hey, Dolan, I want to borrow the arena for six six days to have a tournament." You know, and the same thing applies with the scenes themselves, where you know the people that do do things. You know, like shock. You know, you're not gonna. You don't have to pat him on the back every time, but you got to acknowledge the guys put in more work than anybody else in the scene, including more than myself. You know, yeah. you know, and to just basically throw them under the bus, and you know, and and again, everybody seems to say, "Oh, I could just do this." Well, it's not that easy, man. I mean, a lot of people think that just go out and get a ballroom and put up some monitors and hey I got a major and, and so it's not the case but I do welcome you know people that are eager to become tournament organizers and to learn the ins and outs of what you have to deal with you know just not just sitting there and running brackets. You mean you weren't in the back room the whole time just counting the money? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, hold up, man. First of all, first of all, check this out. Check this out. Anybody that went to final round, ask them if they saw me sitting down more than 10 minutes. Ask them. If they did, they're lying. Maybe near the end of the event when I had most of the stuff packed up and the only thing I couldn't pack up is my big screen that everyone was watching. You know what I'm saying? And my monitors that were on the main stage that Spooky and Capcom was using. But other than that, name a time from basically Thursday to Sunday evening that I was sitting somewhere for 10 minutes. They can't because I run my turn. I try to go all over the venue checking on everything, but you know I have a big venue. I have several different rooms that I have to watch over, you know, and it's quite tiresome. I really I always call it my final round on workout plan. I usually lose like fifteen pounds over the weekend, dog. So, nah, real organizers all. All around his event, you know, checking up on everything. Um, I do. I will say that, you know, I. I did not know th the extent of what happened with. With um, injustice until it was too late. Shock was trying to get everything straight and was making pools and sitting them out as he made them. Now these called these did cause conflicts in other games. You know what I'm saying, and that would slow it down. So, the moral of the story is start on time when you build the schedule to not have schedule conflicts. If you don't, and you don't correctly put the pools, combine the pools, then you will have chaos. And like you, like we, like we discussed the uh, week before final round. The Pre-register. If yes. you don't pre-reg, this is the type of stuff that happens, and, yeah. and and it's not it's not something that's avoidable. One, two, three, five, ten people that come in there. Oh, you know what? I didn't pre-reg. Okay, but you know, sixty people come in the door saying, "Oh, I never registered." You know, does nobody want to save money? And that's my whole point, man. I mean, James, each year. When I open up pre-register eight months away from my event, 
I start registration at 30 bucks. And no one takes advantage of it. I post it in every community forums, all on Facebook. One or two guys of one or two guys. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. I mean, but people are saying that we're greedy. We, you know, this, that, and the other. But it's several months in advance. And it's just like, yo, I mean. And it's not like it's not like you changed, you know, I mean, you don't even need, I don't even need to hear. Oh, well, final rounds date. I don't need to know because I know it happens the same time pretty much every year. It's, it's not like be it, in March. Yeah, it's <laughs> you know in March. You're not gonna say, Oh shit, final rounds coming in October. No, it's in March. So between tomorrow and March of next year, you know where final rounds gonna be. Save thirty bucks. Put it on the side. The minute it's open to register, register. Basically, simple. You know, but simple. but you know, it, it's it, the 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 part about it that people don't understand, and a lot of it's the people that complain the loudest is it screws up a lot. Not just the game that you're in, because now no, it doesn't. Because now you know where you would be focusing more attention on something else for another game. Now you got to take somebody else and say, all right, well we got to do redo all these brackets because we got sixty new people that just entered. Exactly. And, and therein lies the problem. You know, I s talked about this on your show. Um, and I talked to this uh, several shows before and in the past, you know, the number one thing that you can do as a community in any game is to pre register to help the tournament organizer. If you have over half or almost half of the people that register sign up at the door. Yeah. How can we, you know, how can we properly see it anything? I mean, basically what we did, we spread everything out. But once you go over, you know, a certain bracket, you got to redo it and and do it again, you know. So you basically got to kind of predict how many people will come at the door. Luckily, we kind of got close to it, but with that many people pre-registering at the door, well, registering at the door, and, I mean, no, no, forget that, James. I ain't making no excuse for it. You know, I appreciate it, but things happen messed up. It should have never went down like that. You know, end of the story. I, look, uh, I understand, but, but yes, I understand that, that but as a community to grow, we also have to take steps because if we make your life miserable and you finally say, you know what, fuck this, final round 18, I'm done. <laughs> now that's a whole other event that kapoof, you know, with, yeah. Je with Jedi Rob and, and, and Nelson and all the other events of EXG, you know, all these other events that are poof pow gone, you know, we're basically screwing ourselves, knowing we can be proactive to make your lives easier. I mean, you know, one of my peeves, which I, I get a lot of flack for, I don't give a shit if you put me first match, me versus CD Jr. We say, but we're like, you know, roommates and we're bestest friends. So what? Stop this mentality of, because you, I understand you both live in California. You both came to Atlanta to play in a game. Lucky to draw, man. I mean, it's, I mean, I know people don't like when I say that, but it is what it is. If, yes, if, if, if I play you every day and then my first match is against you, if I'm whooping your ass, I'm like, chick ching, I'm going the next round. I don't <laughs> well, give a shit we if you're to, We try to avoid that with pre-register. Uh, we, we really don't want people to be playing against the people they always practice against. Because I know if I go to Evolution and, you know, not saying anything or nothing like that but if i go to a tournament across you know i'm saying the country uh north Carolina regionals and i play against the georgia player in the first round just like i really came here i it wouldn't matter to me but i would prefer to play somebody outside i don't care if it's daigo yeah you know what i'm saying that that i got zero chance to beat him at least i'm playing against someone that, and we try to afford that to anyone that pre register and that's what the system is all for. But when you don't, it throws everything off. 
and you can't really account for that. And when you got a hundred some people bitching about, you know, this, that, and the third, you just throw them in, and you got to run in on time. I mean, that's the whole thing. Things weren't ran on time, so conflicts happen. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, and granted, I'm not saying, you know, it's something that to look forward to. You know, being playing some, but if it happens. Yeah, it, it it's happening most of the time either by a mistake or no other option. Yeah, exactly. There's no guy sitting in the pool going, making the brackets, going he he he. Who can I fuck over today? Basically, you know, and and that's something people got to understand. There's nobody there maliciously trying to screw said person A over. You know, I mean, wait, wait maybe it, maybe you. It, it could it could happen. Don't get me wrong. Maybe you piss them off and troll them on the internet and be, be a keyboard Katie and they say payback's a bitch. But you know the the point is the guys doing the brackets don't know unless your name is say Justin or Ricky or you know in the in the injustice community like sixteen bit or or you know uh, Rico Suave or one of these bigger name guys. If your name is you know Bill zero 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 two six five, odds are they don't even know who the hell you are. So yeah. don't think they're out maliciously trying to get you or to use you as bait to get you blown up real quick. Shit happens. But like you said, if you pre-register, you would have known two weeks before or a week and a half before you even went to the event who you were playing against. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Right. You know, and you can then you can say, "Hey, Larry, you know, it kind of sucks, but you know, I'm looking at my bracket now, and I got three guys that live around the block for me in it." Yeah, I mean, if you pre-register, we would afford you that request. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get crazy with it. Like people who registered at the door and still is trying to worry about um, team or or state affiliation. It's just like, look, your friend didn't register online. So we are supposed to take the time to... Reseed everybody because of that? No. But it happened anyway. Um, because things were running behind. So it is what it is now. One thing we can do is take this as a lesson and grow from it. Um, I, like I said, I didn't read that whole dang old thing because it was at 14 pages and I saw it. I'm sure it's like it was at 14 pages and somebody just closed it. So I was like, okay, fine. That's cool. But, um, oh, yeah, also another thing I want to address. Uh, I don't know who was the donor. I have no idea who was the donor. Stop messaging me about the, you know, $1,000 prize bonus. I had absolutely zero to do with it. Negative, negative one one zero two nine to do with it like seriously and if y'all want to know who it is y'all need to ask pig because he's the one made the post he's the one who asked me would it be cool if if made the announcement so i have no idea you know what i'm saying you know i have no idea about it and this is a specific reason why I didn't want to do anything, to have anything about it. Because now there's questions that no one can answer. You know what I'm saying? So don't message me about it no more because I don't know ish. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. Basically, it never crossed, no transaction it ever crossed my PayPal or no money, you know. Change exchange hands, so I have no idea. Someone need to figure that out and get those players that actually, you know, uh, deserve it to them. Now, is there anything else on the negative side that people wanted to address before? Because I, I kind of want to talk about the good parts, you know. So do I, but we got one more thing that I'm just gonna okay. I'm just gonna hit on a little bit, and okay. then probably have uh, Neo on a little bit later. Okay. Um, the controller issue. Controller. Oh, With, when you talking about uh, Perfect Legend? No, full schedule. Oh, the, the, oh, mac okay. the macros. 
Oh, okay. We can talk about that. So, yay. <laughs> this was my favorite subject today, man. Because doing Final Round, you know, I don't Twitter watch or Facebook watch or nothing like that. I'm actually running my tournament. So if you notice, you didn't see any. You saw posts by Final Round and tweets by Final Round, but I paid someone to do that for me because I don't have no time to be sitting there on social media all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear so, that. I mean, so when I look at it, when I get, you know, finished and I check social media for the first time on Monday morning, I was kind of like laughing because so it was so polarizing. I did not, well, I kind of did expect, you know, uh, a myriad of different responses, you know, like you need to apologize or, oh, I'm ashamed, oh, so disappointing, and or, oh, good job, uh, oh, you should have just stopped there, you should have banned them all the way. So let me take you into the mind of Larry for a second when this all happened. So um, I'm running around. Make sure everything's all right. I'm coming from the um, anime and KI room. And someone said, hey, Larry, you need to come over here. That's a serious issue you need to handle. So I get over there. Uh, and I speak to Filipino champ. And Mark Man's there also. So they tell me what happened. They were like, look, this guy's using, you know, directional buttons, jump buttons, and is that allowed at final round? I was like, what? What are you talking about? So they tell me what goes down, what character he uses. They're just like, oh, he's playing like a robot. No one can do that. Not even Marlon Pop, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, all right. That's one side of the story. So I said, well, if I see this guy, you know, I'll ask him, could I see his, you know, controller? So he actually finds me, which I thought was cool. So he finds me and he shows me a stick. And first thing I noticed was two buttons, you know, what a stick two it, buttons. What a stick it was. <laughs> yeah. Like the first thing I noticed was like he, uh, the buttons, the two buttons above, you know, the medium attacks, you know, I was just like, hmm, that's an interesting configuration. I said, like, all right, man, uh, so what's going on with these two buttons right here? He was like, uh, well, you know, I play Viper, and uh, and these, I was like, are these dash buttons? Because the way Champ was saying, it was like, he made it sound like it was a diagonal dash button. You know, so I was like, are these dash buttons or what are they? You know, tell me their functionality. Well, he tells me, you know, that they're a diagonal jump forward and a diagonal jump back. Well, depending on what side the character is, basically. Yeah. Uh, so I'm thinking in my head, okay, first thing I think is there is no controller option to set your buttons on any console that I've ever played on. Now, computer games, yes. Put in, you know, you play GGPO, you put in your joystick, you twirl your joystick to make sure all the points are there. You press all the buttons, make sure all the points are there, you know. You check your inputs. And no console that I know of on this earth lets you put that you can check the buttons. directionals on buttons, okay? Let's get this clear. When I looked at this, my first thing was, okay, this is a joystick. As long as we go upon that premise that this controller that he is using is a joystick. I have three classifications. Joystick, pad, and keyboard slash hitbox, because those are the only things that's really similar. 
You know, it's the yeah. keyboard slap. They're based, they were made to mimic the keyboard and keyboard players. So those are the only two things that I actually may rule in a similar manner because the application of the controller is very similar. You know, they're cousins. Um, hitbox in the um, keyboard. But every other controller is vastly dis different. You know, they're distant cousins. You know, their functionality are different on different levels. You know, um, pad response is faster than a joystick. Um, hitbox response is faster than a pad. You know, directional because it's a direct point. Even with a pad, you still have, you know, two different points you have to reach. You know, you got to put your thumb in that goofy ass position to, you yeah. know. So, all right, back to the, back to the story. So, that's what immediately flashed in my mind was, I have to classify the controller that he is using. Okay, now, his argument was that. He likes the feel of an old school joystick, but he likes the application of a hitbox. Okay. Okay. So, this is how he customizes his, his controller. All right. So, I look at it, I was like, okay, well, I asked him a series of questions and I said, um, so let me ask you a question. If you're crouching down, because me, I won't take the raw, I'm not going to take the raw, um, data of an input and just say, it's just an input. The input to me depends on the controller and how it's applied. And if it was made to be applied in that manner, I'm not just going to strip it down and just say, okay, it's a controller. It does inputs. You got one input here. You got two inputs so you can jump. So technically it's not illegal. Nah, 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 nah. We're not, no, no, not my thought process. Okay. Maybe other organizers may disagree with me. Maybe other people out there that's listening to the sound of my voice may, you know, disagree with me. But I'm just telling you my thought process on it. So if you classify this as a joystick, you have to treat it. What is the natural function of this joystick? All right. So I asked him, if I'm holding down back block. Okay. So that's down back. Um, what's that down back corner on the left alright if I'm on a player one side let's just get so people can actually visualize it so if I press this right hand button will I jump towards you he was like yes now the other process I was thinking If you're using a joystick, and I was mainly thinking on the defensive side, even though his character is an offensive character, okay? I'm just thinking of applications on how this could be used. If I'm blocking low, and say if anyone knows Marvel, I'm just going to use my limited, you know, you know, just, hey, I'm a tournament organizer and I watch a lot of Marvel yeah. in my time. It's not try jumping in this game. It's box jumping in Marvel 3. Mm -hmm. uh, box attack. So, if you have a player that is trying to open you up with high-low mix-ups in the box slash triangle jump, you know, pressure method that you see all the time backed up with an assist. My thought process is 
instant air grabs, instant air grabs, and chicken guards would be easier to do with those. But not not saying. I mean, I don't want to really get into the technical part. If you hit the button, you still got to go into neutral stuff like that. All I'm saying is, is that him hitting that button is faster than him pulling back, on taking the his. Pulling his hand from the defensive crouch position and then moving it from the neutral position to any direction he wants to go. Now, if someone wants to dispute that, I want to see them move their wrist faster than I can press a button. It's not possible. Exactly. And that that was my thought process on that. So uh I told him that right there, I stopped the conversation. But then I was like, okay, I was about to DQ him from the tournament. Because in my eyes, that is obvious cheating. He shows me a private message or email that he sent to um, Mr. Wizard and Alistair Bailey stating that this was legal. Now, I don't know if they just glanced over it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. If they, I mean, those guys have a lot of people sending them emails, asking them stuff. They could have just, they, they they just, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, oh, yeah, it's exactly. Good. You know, it, it could have been like that. You know, um, I'm not going to speak for anyone. Uh, and I told him, I was like, look, those guys are great organizers of great events. But you, you sending them a picture and – sending them an inquiry about a rule set but did not afford me the same courtesy was the first mistake you did. This is why you're in this position right now. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if I would have seen that come across my desk, I would have told you from the door that that was an illegal joystick. From the door. Okay, there may be a lot of people that's out there that disagree with me. But if you classify that as a joystick, then you can't have a jump button. Okay? Yeah. yeah no. And even on hitbox, you have to hit two buttons to jump yeah. in a direction. Not one. Exactly. So, yeah, you can hit one to go straight up. Yeah. But if you want to go in a direction, you got to hit two. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. No, you're right. You're right. All right. So, now that we got that established... You know, if people want to bring the hitbox into it, he made a one button directional button that even hitbox don't have. So I don't want to hear that. OK. Um, all right. So let's get back to the story. So after that, I told him that I'll sleep on it. I said, don't worry about me getting on social media, anything like that, because I really don't do that during my event. No one will influence my decision except for me. You know, I may ask some of my trusted people to give me their take on it, but this decision is mine and mine alone. Okay, it really don't matter who cries about it. I um, saw so a lot of people, oh, top player, preferential treatment, yeah, How you gonna make that. him? Why? Why you gonna make him change his buttons after he's played eighty percent of the tournament with it? Because I had no idea about this, and it was brought to my attention. And if he would have afforded me the same courtesy he did, Mister Wizard and Jabali, then he would have known from the door not not to have those buttons at final round. Okay. Yeah. So the moral of the story is please don't assume that just because you got confirmation from other tournament organizers that this is universal, especially if you're a stick builder and you feel that you have some innovative that may or may not be within the rules. Okay. So, 
with that said, um, so I sleep on it. I think about it. You know, I wake up. Um, I'm going up and, you know, first thing, you know, he finds me. Hey, you know, have you made a decision? I was like, no, I'm watching Injustice right now. You know, so that was a good that was a good top eight. Actually, I was rooting for my boy Newbie. Um, but Sonny Fox, I really like that kid. He he has a lot of potential, man. Yes, he oh does. my good. Yo, they nerf look here, man. That was another thing I want to say. You can nerf the character, you can't nerf the player. You know what I'm saying? You know what's funny about him? Yeah. At uh I think it was NEC last year. Yeah. They had a whole bunch of classic fighting games. Like okay. Eternal Champions. And he, yeah. and that kid's only fifteen. Yeah, that so game, he could never. He that was, game is older than him. And he was bodying people in that. Yeah, man. I mean, really, if he, you guys really have a gym in that community, you should be happy and blessed that you get to play against that kid. Because if he ever goes to, you know, more popular games like Tekken and Capcom, stuff like that, hopefully he'll stay, you know what I'm saying, and play against you guys. Because a player like that, is a player just like Justin was, you know what I'm saying? A child prodigy in these games. You know, they hot patched that game so fast at the, um, was it Winter Brawl? They hot patched it right after Winter Brawl, right? Yeah. And they need to do it again so it won't keep glitching out. But the kid still went to his next major and won it. So, I mean, it, it's really not the, it's really not the character, you know. It's it's the player. Oh, it's the player. The, he yeah. Plays, all right. Plays, I just wanted to say he that He plays too. DOA. He plays everything. He, he's not yeah. just MK. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, that kid is amazing. You know, what I'm saying. I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to following his career, in a FGC. All right. So back to the um, full schedule. So, um, after injustice. And I think it was partially in tech, and he comes up to me again, you know. I was like, you know what, man? Come on. And at this time, I was just like, all right, let me talk to this guy. He he deserves an answer before the tournament starts, you know. Um, all his friends was coming, so I told them, hey, I need to speak to them alone, you know. So I take him in the back. And I talked to him. I just said, okay, explain the functionality and how you apply the function of these buttons. And he told me, he was like, look, you know, I play Viper. Um, she's a very execution high character. And I simply use these to helped me do a maneuver called a Viper Ball. It gives me a lot of um, mobility and trying to fight, you know, characters that run away. Um, Virgil or before they get Superman or a Viper, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, Morgan, especially trying to chase down Morgan. He explained it. So, okay, I do half circle back and I'm supposed to tiger knee up, up forward towards you and then cancel, you know, do the um, burn kick and then cancel out of it. He was like, well, you know, that's a very hard technique to pull off. So, you know, that's why I created these buttons. So I want to ask you, everyone out there, um, if you create buttons a specific I mean there's other applications also that he can use and he and he explained that also. There's other applications he could use for the button. But you know the, that was one of the things that he brought up, you know what I'm saying, that brought up my attention because he actually said, you know, that it's hard to execute. So that's how, you know, I, I added those to help with my execution. I'm like, okay, he's saying it's still not easy even if you use the buttons, you know. I'm like, okay, I understand that. That's fine. Um, but 
something was added to help with execution on it. You know, um, big thing about fighting games is human error. Uh, I thoroughly believe in that. You cannot eliminate the human error in the fighting games. That's part of what is That's a part of it. In all competitive sports, electronic or, you know, regular sports. Even, even two guys delivering the fucking mail. It don't, yeah. ma- it don't matter. I mean, I want the best pitcher in the world. I want him to be able to throw 96 strikes in a row. Well, guess what? He can't do it every day. Exactly. He has to rest that arm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and guess what? He may not pit, He may not have his good stuff, and he's wild. He may hit a couple of people. Before the game, his wife bitched him out because she wasn't getting none. Next thing you know, <laughs> he's throwing fucking <laughs> balls left and right. You know, I yeah. mean, and that's something that, you know, I was talking to a, a guy, single malt, that's in the chat uh, today. And, you know, again, there has to be some kind of – Standard across the board. Um, yeah, I don't know. I personally, and this is what I was telling him. I don't like. I, I guess because I'm old school. Whatever game you are playing, if it's like, we'll use Tekken for example, four buttons done. That's it. I don't need to see yeah. twelve buttons on a stick because I should only be able to function if I got to do something that combines those buttons. I got to hit those buttons. If I'm going to do a pad, then I could do it on a pad. But whatever the game is designed for, Street Fighter, no matter what you want to say at the end of the day, it'll always be six buttons to me. I yeah, can't yeah. I can't play it with with eight and ten buttons on a on a stick because I get confused. You know, injustice. You know, injustice is is, is six. Uh, Mortal Kombat is five. You know, whatever the game is designed as is what it should be as. You know, whether it's keyboard. You know, I personally, and I called for this a long time ago, I say the hitbox sh- shouldn't be used. But, I mean, I have a lot of critics that say that's bullshit. But to <laughs> me, it's, to me, it's, again, it's taking that competitiveness and taking that human error and trying to bring it down to a minimum, not based on your level of skill, but, you know, your handicap. Basically, you're, if you have a handicap, it's, it's wiping that handicap out. As much yeah. as possible. It's like giving these swimmers these special swimming shorts that shave a half a second off of their time. No, no, I, I feel you, James. I had the same outlook um, years ago, but me starting to organize, and I had to see the other side of the coin. Me, my personal preference is I play with six buttons on Street Fighter. You know. I don't play with eight. I don't have all kick or all punches, but if you can't press three buttons simultaneously at the same time, then you don't need to play Street Fighter. That's my personal opinion as a player. Larry, the organizer, has learned that all these games are not on joystick anymore. They know nothing about the arcade Seeing they know nothing about the arcade mentality. So when you receive a game out of the package for your console and the defaults or three punch, three kick or whatever, you know, thing it is, or you have button options to move attacks in different four different buttons. This is the method that they grew up on. Do you, I don't. Let me ask, let me let me cut it to you one second. Do yeah, you go ha- ahead. Do you have uh, the stream on itself? Like, no, I don't. No, I just put a pick give me up. a link. Give me a link. I, I just put a pick up of this this joystick somebody just sent me. It's got about ninety buttons on it. Three joysticks. Give me a link on Facebook, dog. Uh, but uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. While while you're doing that, I'll send you that. Okay. Yeah, um, so me personally, you know, some people say, okay, like, you handicap yourself if you don't use that. I'm like, whatever, you know, I I use Blank or Zangi for something like that. I don't need a three kick or three punch button. I can press three buttons all <laughs> really easy, you know. I have three fingers, so I think I can press it. But <laughs> that's beside the point. 
my personal feelings. I don't let my personal feelings get in the way of the organizer side. And there's a lot of people out there, James, that grew up now. You know, these young people, they grew up with the game on console with pads, you know. Yeah. And a lot of people, especially the Tekken community, they play on pads. I mean, there's is eighty. It's probably eighty twenty pad to stick, you know. So when you really think about it, the whole the whole thing kind of flipped. You know what I'm saying, I would say two thousand six or five on up. You saw the really, you saw the the pad players and stuff like that really come out of the woodworks. Now, before I was just like, oh, joystick, blah, blah, blah. You can't use that stinking pad. No, but then I started to think, I want the scene to grow. And a lot of these people, when they first got the game, they just had a, a hand controller, you know, a pad. Yeah. So that's how they learn how to play, you know. That's their weapon of choice. They don't know how to use a joystick. They didn't have, you know, $150, $200 to spend on the joystick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mom bought me this um, system. It had a controller in it. This is what I'm going to use. So, you know, and it could be, you know, PS2, PS3 games. It could be Smash. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people came from the Smash community first. That was their first game. You know, a lot of these guys now, they don't know anything about the arcade scene. So trying to force them to play stick or trying to use buttons that only us old fogies use, you know what I'm saying? Because we're set in our ways and we don't want to change and we like the same, you know, type of drink, you know what I'm saying? And same sandwich because we're used to it. You know, that, I'm not going to force players to do that. But in the same breath, you have to classify the the controller that the person is using. And you need to know the basic functionality of that controller. And I saw full schedules controller as a joystick, not a hitbox. Yeah, I would, uh, I would agree with that. The minute it has a stick on it, it's, a, it's no longer a hitbox. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm thinking. I mean, really and truthfully, I think the for functionality-wise, I think the hitbox is probably the most superior. You know, uh, if you're used to using keyboards, if you're a keyboard player, the hitbox movement-wise You'll never get, I mean, it's just like playing um, someone in a first-person shooter and using a pad, and they're using a keyboard and a mouse. You're not going to beat them, in, and their mobility is going to be way better than yours. I mean, it's, it's just a fact. Yeah. You know, so I will say that. Um, but he was using a joystick that was kind of a hybrid. It, it really wasn't even a hybrid of the, of the hitbox when you really look at it in in my opinion others may disagree that's fine you know we all you know view things in different manners so I can respect that but me as an organizer his stick is classified as you know as a joystick so alright so basically I gave him two options I, I told him hey man I classify your controller as a joystick and being a joystick, I've never seen any joystick. I've never seen any game option that lets you program jump up forward or up back. Never in the history of video games have I ever seen that on a console that we use for tournament play. I have never seen that before. And I, and I expressed this to him, too. And he understood. And I told him he had two options. He could play with a stick that he is foreign to. He played with a totally different stick. 
he asked me, um, Mr. Dixon, could could I just remove the buttons? Physically show you show you removing the buttons, and would that suffice? Because I made this stick to fit my hand. You know, it's it doesn't lay out like a regular T E stick or something like that. It's, it's basically made for for the way my hand sits. I said, Okay. And I'm thinking in my head, how do I how do I know that you will disable them completely? So that's what my thought process. So I said, Okay, we have stick models here. So I need to physically see you. Remove the buttons, snip the wires of said buttons. Yeah. You give them to the modder after you make the modification or remove the buttons. Give it to the modder. He would test every input. If there's any extra inputs, you would be decued. There would be no discussion. After you remove the buttons and give it to him, this is your chance to make your joystick function as a normal just joystick. Okay. So you take the time that you need to and I'll witness it. And he did he did that. The stick model checked it. A okay. I, I looked on the computer when he was checking all the inputs. I said, All right. Your stick is now tournament legal. You know, so that was that was the process. Okay, um, I can't go back in time. I told Champ and Neil, I was like, "Look, I can't award you guys wins. I'm not Doc Brown. I have no flux <laughs> capacitor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I have no Delorean." No, but at the same time, I mean, it happens. I mean, that's that's just the way it is. I mean, I feel bad for them to a degree, but, you know, it, it, it happened. It was something that had, I mean, I don't know what triggered it, you know, to, to start. I think somebody was saying that Neo was the one that kind of said, like, hey, you know, nobody executes like this. Um but well, everybody was saying that. I, I'm not going to go into who said what. I mean, it was a lot of people coming up to me like, yo, that was some robot stuff, Larry. I mean, but I went back and looked at it. You know what I'm saying? And Viper is just wild. You know what I'm saying? I, he did some some really high level stuff. Um, yes, it did help him, you know, but. He did dash dashing under him and comboing him is what he finished champ with when I went back and reviewed the tape. Okay. So I told him that I wasn't going for just one instant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You played throughout an entire day with this. And the problem that we have right now is that you did not give me the courtesy of sending me an email just verifying that the stick was tournament legal. And again, this comes to, right. another thing that this, this brings up is, is, you know, the understanding that there isn't, you know, and I hate to use the word league, but there is no set of guidelines that's passed across to everybody. Wizard could okay it till he's blue in the face, but that's Wizard's tournament. Well, and like I said, man, I don't know if it was just passed over, you know, glanced over. I mean, I can only imagine how many emails, you know, Joey has to look through, you know. So, I mean, I, I'm I'm not worried about that. I told him that, okay, that's good that you have that, but this decision is mine and mine alone, you know. So, if you would have at least hit me up and then gave me this also, gave me that information with asking the question, is my joystick tournament legal? Then maybe, you know what I'm saying, that would have been more of a thing. And then I would have just hit them up, hey, hey, 
what y'all know about this? You know, this guy, he's stating that you guys said this. I'm looking at a post or a PM or an email, whatever it is, that I see your avatar, you know, and, and you said it was legal. So I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. But that wasn't afforded to me. I had to make a call on the fly. I stand behind it 200%. Those that disagree with me, you have the right to do so. Um, if you bla basing things on inputs alone, and that's fine. There's other organizers out there that that um, believe that, and that's fine also. Um, also, someone someone brought up, well, he brought up, well, what about Daigo? Uh, what is it called? Blinking or blinking, something using? Blinking. Yeah, you, blinking with the select button or something like that. Yeah. Um, I don't think that that's, I don't know who rules or whatever, but I'm not with that also. I'm going to revise my rules to be more specific. See, now let me ask you this. this. Is, yeah. Is there, you know, and this is something that we, again, we talked about this before, you know, the week before uh, final round. Yeah. Uh, can, is there a way that we could all kind of get a little kumbaya and make some sort of round robin rules that, you know, like we were saying about the bathing and the, and, and, and the normal stuff, but stuff like this that can be incorporated in that this way you ain't got to make a, a wacky judgment call. And if you ever do come into a situation like that, you can confide in two or three TOs who basically would have those same types of rules applied to their events. And you can come across with a unanimous decision where it ain't all the pressure on you. And then you got some guy going, oh, this motherfucker Larry, man, he's got me. He picked, he's picking on me. No, this was a group thing, you know, and the, and the ruling is based off of an actual set of written rules rules we want to keep bullshitting ourselves and calling ourselves a sport there isn't a sport out there that doesn't have a rule book yes you're, you're correct james and several steps are being taken after this incident and we are trying to work on a universal at least for that for that instance for the joysticks and stuff like that so hopefully they'll be coming down the pike soon that you know it it is still everyone's choice to make what what they feel is in the best interest of their event and what they think is fair. You know, I definitely agree with you that there did there does need to be a general rules that everyone attending can feel pretty comfortable about and you don't have to you know send emails to each organizer that you want to attend their event to have questions and stuff like that we're definitely trying to move towards that and there are a general set everyone that's a part of the Capcom Pro Tour has a general set of rules that they have to adhere to so I think that there will be an addendum to the joystick to make it more clear. You know what I'm saying because I'll say that us organizers as a whole, not having a clear cut, you know, rule set for this, left a little area, a little gray area for someone to tinker around. And that's pretty much the moral of the story for me. Um, I know a lot of people may disagree with my ruling. That's fine. Um, I expect, you know, different TOs will have different views on the subject. Yeah. Some may look at it and want to do what I did and make a judgment call on the certain type of controller he's using and how that controller is supposed to function. And others may say, I'm going to take this to the purest form of an input is an input is an input. So that's pretty much it, James. Um, I'm, if people can't see 
the way that I ruled on that subject, then I don't know what else I can tell you. You know. I mean, look, it's it, it's on the fly. Um, I I view it as fair because he obviously had to have played the game without those buttons in order to learn the game. It wasn't something that he had from day one. And, yeah. I, and I understand that, you know, this is the way he wanted to play, which, you know, it, it's unfortunate that, you know, it didn't work out that way for him. He still did well, you know. I mean, he should be happy with that, you know. But at the end, you know, it's got to be... I just personally think it, it, it's got to be the controller in its rawest form. Yes, exactly. That's... You know, if That's you pick a hitbox, if you pick a hitbox, I don't want to see a hitbox with seventy-five buttons on it. I don't want to see a joystick. <laughs> I don't want to see a joystick with you know four joysticks coming off of it. One for jumping forward, one for jumping backwards. You know, I mean, whatever the product is designed to be is what it should be. Um, yes. You know, please I, don't take the human element. That's that's my main concern. Don't take the human element out of the gameplay if you play with a pad then guess what your thumb is going to get tired dog so your execution may get a little weary you know what i'm saying your thumb is going to tire quicker than your wrist and that's a, and gonna, the, that's equivalent to a pitcher throwing 100 pitches and exactly four exactly your hands have to be dry to play on pad more than a stick you see what I'm saying? So there's different nuances on using the different type controller, you know, and I think people want to ignore that and just take it to inputs. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you view a controller, I'm not saying that you're wrong. You know, I just feel that each controller is this individual type device. And there's a natural and correct function the way that it's supposed to function, you know. So uh, that's just the way I view it. And I hope I explain myself, you know. Well, not explain myself because, I mean, hell, I was going to rule the way I was going to rule. But, I mean, yeah. just, just letting people know, you know, how I was thinking, you know what I'm saying. And, yeah, I don't think that blinking stuff – I. I I think that should be banned also. I, you know? I, I, so, actually, I actually, you know, I, again, I hear shit for, I, I, I agree, you know. I just like, you know, I see the corner cuttings in these games now, and it's kind of, I mean, it's going to be a bad analogy, but it's like blood doping for a race or, or you know, you know, putting Vaseline on a ball to throw a better spitball, you know. It's just that one little extra thing or doing some ephedra so you can perform a little bit better. I won't go as far as roids, you know, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. Th there's always that one or two little things you can do that, you know, gives you an advantage that's outside of your ability. I don't even think it's tar on the ball or tar on the bat or if it's um, Vaseline on the ball. I think it's it's something like putting your fingernails in the ball or something like that. You know, I mean, yeah. I, look, dude, I will give him, you know, kudos on trying to think outside the box. You know, he tried to take the functionality of a hit box and integrate it with a joystick. The problem with that is, is that making a hybrid stick is going beyond what that device is supposed to do. And like I said, when it comes down to it, if I cut on Marvel and we go to the option screen, there is no directional option for buttons. Yeah. Your directional is a default standard direction. Whether you plug it up a hitbox a dang on pad and a joystick. Now, a pad may have two analog sticks, so you can jump, you know what I'm saying, crouch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, that's a pad. We all understand what a pad can do and the positives and negatives of that. But guess what? If they're using two analogs, obviously they cannot hit one attack button. So they are 
going to cripple themselves trying to do use both analogs, you know what I'm saying, or the D pad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not for, it's not really feasible to do. Exactly, you know, like people bring that up. Like so basically you would have to have two joysticks to do the function of his joystick plus his jump buttons. If you guys can't understand that, I don't know what else to tell you. No, I mean, again, it's, you, you're completely right. Um, but, I mean, it's it's 12 o'clock now. But before, because I know you're going to want to go, because I know you've been running around all day. Let's just quickly hit on some of the good things. Because we got all the negative things. The good things. Um, Thank you. Obviously, uh, like I said, Tekken blew my mind away. Tekken, Tekken was my favorite of the whole event. That, you know what? I, I got a newfound love for infiltration. Yo, this okay. fucking cat, this fucking cat photo bombs everything. Yeah. I see pictures of like a guy in Alabama and all of a sudden infiltrations in the background are going, what, what the fuck is that? He's everywhere. Oh, yeah. and, oh man, y'all didn't see infiltration at Spawn Divis after the tournament. Oh, he was getting um, turned up, had two in his hand, throwing them back. But um, that's another story. You had to be there. Yeah, I, I wasn't there. Picks. I, I mean, I had like, too. yeah, I had my staff there, and they were telling me he was turned up after the tournament. You know, so I mean, hey, you know, I. I, I mean, it's it, everyone it's, that it's comes. Good. Yeah, everyone that comes to final round, besides you know, um, the few that were very upset with what happened with injustice it seemed overall people had a, a good time at the event um everything besides that you know really ran on time kind of early and actually when we had the capcom cup um excuse me capcom pro to a part of it they had several breaks in between you know matches and stuff and everything still was running on time like clockwork um of course Tekken is going to be you know I mean, come on, man. <laughs> of course, Tekken is going to be like that at final round, man. I, I appreciate the Tekken community coming out, you know, in droves and supporting my event, you know. Um, and But it's not just Tekken. I mean, a lot of people just say, hey, oh, yeah, final round, yeah, it's all about Tekken. But, I mean, we had over 350, I think, in Street Fighter and, you know, over 260 or something like that. I mean, I let Kai handle all of that. But um, basically, we had like at least three tournaments over the 256 mark running with other tournaments that was like over the 100 mark. So, I mean, it's just like I think a lot of people enjoyed themselves um, having KI. I was watching some KI. You know, we did top 16. I also, I want to apologize to them because we just didn't have enough, enough like streams going on. I wanted to show more KI. That's why I showed the top um, 16 of KI on Sunday because we pretty much missed out on most of that tournament, you know, for the viewers. So I wanted to reward them by seeing the um, top 16 players, you know, the high quality matches. Um, that we had available. Yeah, man, I, I had a blast. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I had, you know, that it was over so fast. Like the w weekend just went by so quick, you know, the the pro tour that was that was very interesting. That was the first time I was actually nervous about an event because that was kind of a big undertaking, you know, to be the first inaugural event to kick this off. You know, um, of course, all our other games, you know, people coming out for those. But that had me the most nervous because I didn't want anything, you know, to happen, you know, bad. And it seemed like it was a good turnout, a good, you know, everybody was watching. I guess we, um, I know I had a guy from Twitch there. Um, shout out to Victor Slick. Um, he told me that we that besides Evolution, that was the second highest um, viewed fighting game community based tournament ever. And we hit like 52K, I think. Damn. So um, I was really very pleased with that. Um, I didn't know that many. You know, I was just like, okay, Spooky. Um, I, and I think Spooky maxed out around 36. 
six or something like that before we switched over. So, I mean, you combine those. That's like 80. I mean, <laughs> we're a little bit close to 100,000. Yeah, on Championship Sunday. So that's that's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching. You know, like that. I really appreciate it, you know. I mean, you combine those. That's not counting, you know. Funky P did an excellent job on um, 649. Of course, Shock did. Yeah, you guys was watching that. You know, with the stream, had a lot of hype matches and stuff like that. Um, and then after that, you know, I just said, hey, guys, you know, don't move anything. Just throw the team tournament in there. You know, instead of making them switch and move to another room, I was just like, you know, with all the chaos and stuff like that that happened on Saturday, I want them guys to be comfortable on Sunday. So just go on the rock out, do the team tournament, and do what you do. So overall, I have a good feeling about it. You know, the whole event, um, the Capcom Pro Tour, I was really nervous about that because I did not want to start this future event on the bad foot. Yeah. I really want this to succeed because I really think it may open doors for other developers to put their faith into grassroots events like Final Round, you know, anything that um, Eric Small does, you know, and other great organizers around the community, you know. The only way this is going to grow if we, you know, help it to grow. And I think this is a step in the right direction. Hell, I saw when I got what when I got home or got back on social media that Harada was tweeting that he's gonna uh, support Final Round next year. I'ma hold you to that, Harada son. You know. Oh yeah. I ain't seen no emails yet, but uh, please do, cause the Tekken community loves you and want you guys to support Final Round. The final round becomes the Tekken World, you know, championship. I ain't going to be mad about it. <laughs> I'll tell you. I mean, after I let you go, I have uh, King Ray Jr. coming on. And I, got oh, the, yeah. and I got the Tekken Venezuelan guys coming on. Oh, those guys are awesome, man. So, you know, I mean. Those guys are real. And humble, too, man. Yeah. Like, to be that skilled and humble. Um, I mean, it. I was ecstatic those guys came out, man. I didn't even know, was it, uh, the one guy came from France, the other guy came from um, Italy. Yeah, I, I was like, wow. Yeah, and they then Ryan came, Hart they came, came yeah, out, they, of the, out, of out of the blue. blue. Yeah, out of the blue. So I was just like, wow. That's really some, um, I really appreciate that, that people from around the world consider finding around a destination, a must-go-to. You know, because we actually had more people this year than when we had the five thousand dollar prize bonus. So I really appreciate that, guys. You know, um, that shows me that your community is not dead, regardless of what other people say. You know, you just want to pick and choose who you want to support. Um, I hope that you support all of the events that support you. Uh, and don't get it misconstrued on who uh, who does it. You know what I'm saying that goes for every game. Um, we as organized try our best to put on a show for you guys because we do it for you guys. I mean, I go once I you know once I finish this, I go to work. I don't know about people talking about making all these tons of money and oh, this, that, and the other. You're not going to lay on the floor with, with $100 bills all over the place and just roll on it for hours? I know, man. I, I'm not Scrooge McDuck. I don't have a, <laughs> a, a a tower of money that I can swim through, dog. You know, but, I mean, I just think that we all, <laughs> I like the rumors. They make me giggle. About yeah, you know these tournament organizers making you know eighty, a hundred thousand dollars. Let me uh, tell you something. If that's what you guys made, I'd quit my fucking job and I'd be doing it. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, why do I want to work three hundred and sixty-five days a year when I can only work three weeks? You know, I mean, it it only makes sense if 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 it's that kind of money. You know, so I mean, guys do got to understand that the work that goes in, the money that you get. I, again, this ain't me, you know, because, you know, I've bumped heads with plenty of TOs in the past. Um, it's not giving them any uh, 
slack, I guess, if you will. But reality is, they do put in work. It isn't like you just throw five chairs out and you know this ain't the days old. Five chairs and a TV, and you're good to go. Exactly, man. I mean, the undertaking. Hell, I gotta. I love the hotel. I love the location, but man. We get any bigger, I'm gonna have Cock to get roll. a bigger boat. You know, I'm gonna have to get a bigger boat to quote Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> I think we I think we're the only ones that actually knew that reference, James. I think that flew over your whole audience head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but at least we got it. We got a chuckle out of that. But yeah, man, um I I am extremely blessed that people trust their time not only their money with you know traveling stuff like that but their time because my time your time anyone's time is more valuable than anything we can possess on this earth because it's not promised to anyone you know what i'm saying i hope everyone saw and did the moment of silence um at the beginning of the event i went to both main rooms and did a moment of silence just in case you know someone missed that at the beginning for I'm, Richard War. I'm actually gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna run that in a little bit. I got video of it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, thank you for doing that. But also, um, before Ryan Hart left, he wanted to do his own minute uh, moment of silence for Richard and stuff like that. So um, catch that. Chris Bond will be releasing that soon. But it was like a lot of players that was there the morning after. And I think um, I think he missed it, you know, Ryan Hart. So yeah. he wanted to say something special also, you know, and we video recorded. And Chris Bond, you know, on put, put that back. He's going to. Um, he just sent it to me. Oh, cool. Okay. So, yeah. Um, well, let me see it before I go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I want to see. You got the the link now I sent you to the show. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm okay. I'm looking at it right now. So just roll it. Right, you know, right. I know it's gonna be a delay. Yeah, it's gonna be a delay. Let me mute you. All right. Yeah, let me mute you too, so I can listen to it. Hello, my name is Ryan Hart and um, I'm here at Final Round 17 and it's been an amazing show, the tournament was crazy, everyone was so excited and hyped and it was a brilliant, brilliant show. Yesterday, the um, tournament finished you know, in crazy pandemonium and I didn't get to do a really important uh, message that I wanted to do, um, obviously with the Capcom announcement that came in, uh, you know, kind of uh, the focus got, got switched over to that. But I really wanted to just come to you guys today and um, give a very special um, remembrance for you know our, our fallen heroes who can't be here with us because at the end of the day this community is about the people um, we would none of us would even be here without each other and um, you know I just really want to give a special um, minute of silence for um, Richard Windsor and Warren and Nelson Ian Beeman and Therese so um, if you guys would like to join me in that minute of silence um, I want to really remember our fallen heroes along with these two right now. Thank you for joining us in that moment. These are really special people that shared our passion as well. You know, we're amazing guys, so I um, really want to take that time out for them and have you take part in the little silence I have too. Um, and thank you. Thank you very much. You know, it's it's 
again, you know, to sound like a broken record, when I want to punch the people in the face of this community the most, things like this happen. And, yeah. it, and it makes me just say, you know what, there is hope for it. You know, yeah. here you have people from all different uh, sides of the FGC or, or scenes of the FGC um, uniting under people that, you know what, you know, they might not even even have known Nelson or Richard. But, yeah. You know, they acknowledge the fact that, you know, these are, are people that were friends, you know, sons of, of parents that, you know, they the kids shared the same passions we did as gamers. Um, you know, again, I, it bothers me that I didn't come down. Obviously, I was set to come down there uh, yeah. and meet Val, uh, Richard's mom. Um, but, you know, I told her she's going to be coming up to Connecticut, so we're gonna, I'm going to do my best to get up to Connecticut to meet up with her. But, uh, you know... He's a perfect example. Ryan's a perfect example. He's on the other side of the world. You know, and for him to to feel that passion. Yeah. You know, for somebody living down in the Skokies of the South, you know, Richard was a great guy. You know, he, he there was not a ill will in the guy. No. You know, Nelson and me we were a little bit rowdy together. You know, we were, you know, different different genre of people. But uh, you know, he's the type of guy that would give you the shirt off his back if he knew it would keep you warm, and he'd freeze his ass off. He didn't care. Yeah. You know, so you know, shout outs to Ryan obviously for that. Um, and again, you know, it it just goes to show that there is decency in this community. It just sometimes gets buried amongst all the BS and the bullshit. Yeah, basically, basically, but you can't lose sight of that. That's all, you know, this is all funny games, but, you know, just make sure you live your life to the fullest because I hate wasting people's time, you know, and if anyone felt like they wasted their time more than money and final round, then I'll definitely do my best to correct that and have people, you know, and just make it, you know, fun for everybody. Good games, good times, good eat, good drinks, good company. That's final round. Well, now as far as staples of Atlanta, you got Coca Cola, Captain Planet, and Final Round. So basically, I mean that's 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 in, in my eyes not no, oh in the largest aquarium. Yeah, I got, you got I got some big fish down yeah, here. You got some big fish down there, so. <laughs> <laughs> and Tattletales. Can't forget about Tattletales. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, you know, it, it, from everybody I spoke to, they've they had a great time down there. Um, you know, don't, I mean, I, I hear, you know, the, the, the monotone in your voice of, of a bit of disappointment, but you really shouldn't be because everybody that I've spoke to has come back to me like, listen, there might have been a couple of hiccups, but I had a fucking blast. Okay, you cool. Know, nobody, well, nobody's come case. back to me. Yeah, nobody's come back to me like, oh, fuck Larry, this event was bullshit. No, you know, nobody said that to me. Okay, well, that's cool. At least that didn't happen, you know. Maybe I'm harder on myself than anybody else could be, you know, but... uh if some go down, then regardless of who I had to come and help out or whatever, I made that decision. You know what I'm saying? I just want people to enjoy themselves when they come here. Um, enjoy the stream if they're watching and just have good times. You know what I'm saying? Trying to grow this community that we all, you know, are part of and care about. Well, like I said, man, as far as I'm concerned, it was a successful event. The book's closed on 17. I'm going to make sure my ass gets to 18. Well, I, I'll probably have some news about that soon, too. I don't play. I like to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the stream chat right now. What's going on, everybody? It seems like everybody's picking on Devil May Spy today. I don't know why. Uh, you know, they they pick somebody and then they just go in. It'll, it'll last for about till the next um, major. And then they'll die out. <laughs> you know. But, I mean, whatever. Uh, you know, even you guys that hate on me, uh, 
I love you guys too. Uh, you yeah. know what? I gotta be honest. I mean, as somebody that actually gets hate thrown his direction, um, I don't see anybody. I can't find anybody that hates you. I've never, I've never heard somebody like, oh, Larry, you know, it's kind of fucked up. Even like when it comes to the tournament, guys, who makes money and who don't make money, like your name's never brought up in the picture. I don't know if you intimidate people, maybe, but. You know, they're, they're nah, all, that's not me, that's Eric. <laughs> but they're all, no, because they all think Eric's making fucking 1.5 million of an, an event. Oh, yeah. I mean, seriously, like, come on, guys. Plus, he's, works plus he's got to work you know? two jobs on top of it because, you know, he's just yeah. he just wants so much money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why you work. No, I didn't play Eric in, in Alpha 2, guys. I'm sorry. Arturo was ready to stream it. I was just too busy. I, I, there was no time I sat down, you know, and uh, had enough time to sit there and play a first to five with anyone. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Eric escaped that ass whooping, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It, it can happen later on, you know. Summer Jam? Oh, no, 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 no. We were supposed to play Alpha 2, you know, because he called me out at Winter Bro, but it just didn't happen. I was too busy. I'm saying, uh, since you got busy here and he was busy there, Winter Brawl's the next one, or ECT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, actually, uh, Robin, you know, who does Civil War, mm -hmm. that's coming up. Oh, yeah, that's and, right, shit. Exactly. That's coming up. And then ECT, you know, um, for the Capcom Pro Tour, you got uh, North Carolina Regional that's coming up next. So, I mean, there's a lot of tournaments from all around the nation that people can attend and have fun and stuff like that, you know. But just uh, remember to support your local community, su support your organizer because, you know, we're trying to keep this thing we love, keep on going strong, you know what I'm saying? So I hope everybody go out to um, Civil War, you know, and go out to ECT, and well, hell, wherever you want to go, then just go out there and support your tournament organizers because they're trying to keep this thing alive. Exactly, and that's something guys got to remember. You know, <laughs> I don't care if you 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 go and you you go to UGFT, UFGT, or SoCal Regionals, or NorCal, or an East Coast event. Yeah. Just go to the events. The more you show up to the events, the better it looks for other people to be interested in even investing in this. Exactly. That's another thing, you know. Um, it's not about <laughs> it's not about me trying to get more money from people who attend. I mean, if I have a lot of people there, that attracts more sponsors. More sponsors get you guys the money that you want. You know. Yeah, you know, I, I Gutex Mexican father. I love you, dude. You're my favorite troll on Twitter. Um, but you know the whole Keats thing. I'm not. I don't. I didn't take personal jabs at him. I let everybody else do it. I just let them vent it. <laughs> I, that's all. I, I, I'm just. I'm just a megaphone. Hey man, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, that's that's your deal. I'm not even getting this. I got. I on. listen. I got no hard feelings against the guy. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. Honestly, the only, the people that know I don't like the people who know I don't like them know I don't like them already. And there isn't okay. too many. And there isn't too many of them. Okay. You know, I'm an easy person to get along with. Don't fuck me. I don't fuck you. All right. That's that's <laughs> words to live by, actually, Jay. You know, but uh, before I let you go, yes. do you because I know these guys from Venezuela want to pop on. You want to say say hello to them? I know they want to say. Oh, hello of course. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Let me add these guys in uh, and. Uh, and King Ray Jr. So, guys, keep in mind we got to be kind of PG 14.